Now we will see the question number 7b. Here you will get two questions b1 and b2. The very first one is b1 developing a story. You have to attempt only one out of b1 and b2. Now the question is develop a story suitable to conclusion or end given below. Give a suitable title. Now here the conclusion or end is given as dash dash and I realize I must never ignore the words of the wise. Now here we have to construct a story which should come to the end with these ending lines. Now here you can develop a story by using any imaginary characters. Let's see the story writing. Write the question number then give the title. Here I have given the title. Don't ignore the words of the wise. Now the story is once, once upon a time there lived a hare. The hare could run very fast. He was proud of his speed. His mother always advised him don't be so proudy otherwise it will trouble you. One day. But he used to ignore that advice. One day hare saw the tortoise walking very slowly. The hare laughed at the tortoise and said you are such a slow coach. My dear friend you are so proud of your speed. Let's have a rest to see who is faster. The tortoise said. So the hare and the tortoise had a rest. The hare ran very fast and very far. After a while the hare turned back to see where the tortoise was. The tortoise was walking very slowly and it was far behind the hare. Hare thought that the tortoise will take a very long time to come near me. The hare started feeling bored. In the meantime, he began to eat the grass. After eating, he thought to take a nap and he went to sleep. The tortoise, the tortoise slowly but steadily passed the hare. The hare suddenly woke up and saw the tortoise was crossing the finishing line. The hare started running very fast but it was too late. The tortoise had won the race. The hare was extremely disappointed to find his competitor already there as a winner. The hare started crying and went to his mother and told her everything what happened. The hare's mother reminded him that she had advised don't be so proudy otherwise one day it will trouble you. Hare said to his mother, yes mother and I realized I must never ignore the words of the wise. Now, now here we have ended the story with the given conclusion that is and I realized I must never ignore the words of wise. At the end you can write the moral. Now here the moral is given. We should not ignore the words of the wise because their advice always has a base of experience.